Hi everyone, Carlo here, and I just want to welcome you guys to the very first episode of The Crossover. Thank you very much for tuning in, and if you guys know or don't know, um, I'm a certified life coach, and I'm also a counselor. So if you guys are interested in knowing more about me, I'll make a separate episode about my own spiritual awakening, how I opened up my kundalini and meeting my twin flame, and how I basically pay a play uh, a part in all this, so, uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, in this episode specifically, wow, um, briefly I just wanted to make a show about the event. Uh, I'm, and I've been wanting to do something like this where I could do like an episodic show and talk about it. And, you know, for the longest time I've been a closet spiritualist since 2012. And during that time of six or seven years, way before I opened up my third eye in Kundalini, um, I've been hearing so much about this awakening event from different sources like Dolores Cannon to uh, Fred Sterling to Drinvala Melchizedek, David Wilcock, for, of course, you know, I've been following his work for a while and, you know, I admire him and all the, all these guys have shared this information, um, this profound and important information. I feel like, you know, it's time, you know, it's, it's, it's really close and, I think it's it's time that we all share the sheer magnitude of the the research that I've been doing for uh, years and, and and decades, you know, and and I want to share my information as well. So I, I want to do this for you guys, you know, make this video for you guys so you can make an informed reference to multiple different sources that correlates and validate this this important um, turning point, this event, you know, that, that we're about to witness. So. So another reason why I wanted to make this show is because I, I do want to provide some hope and inspiration to all you guys and, you know, all of you guys who are listening and who have been waiting for this for a very, very long time. And, you know, I just want to say that, you know, you're not alone. I mean, we're, we're all waiting for this together and, you know, it could come literally any day now. And, you know, for those who are listening, just, just remember to keep the faith, you know, and find the strength whenever within yourself to to hope and to know that you're not alone um i know that i know the the world out there is sometimes not a nice place and you know i understand that we are a very uh, <laughs> a very eccentric community in a way and and not a lot of people will get us you know not many people will understand us you know as a whole and and that's fine you know that's perfectly okay some of us are not ready to receive this type of information, so it's it's best to just respect everyone's journey. I mean, even if we're not on the same frequency or vibration or even the same understanding, eventually everyone will ascend at their own time and at their own pace. So um, I, I do wholeheartedly understand that waiting for something, I mean, no matter what it is, um, whether it's your twin flame, whether if it's, your, if, if it's the event or... Or, or even like some, something physical in here in the 3D, like waiting for a new job or something like that. I know if you focus too much on it, it can be a bit distracting. I mean, especially if you don't focus on the other things that are important to you right now, you know, right in front of you. And as important as this event may be, it's also to, um, it's also to essentially just live your life like right now, you know, not not to get boggled down by certain people or certain living conditions you're living at because, you know, we're all, you know, we've all been there. And, and, and no matter what, I mean, no matter what you're going through, I mean, this, this reality, this, this time bubble, um, everything around us is all an illusion anyways, you know, so j just, you know, just live your, live your life, live your life with every moment you got and, because the past, the present, the future, I mean, you want to look over the horizon. If, you, if, if you're going to look over the horizon, um, they're all happening at the same time. They're all happening at the same time. So remember, guys, you know, everything you do is written in your Akashic Records and, and what you do within the time that you have today. I mean, no matter what it is, no matter who you are, it matters. You matter. 
and as with other people in this journey as well, you know, and everyone has their own journey, but we're all going to be experiencing this in our own way and, you know, how we can perceive it. And trust me, guys, it's, it's not just the researchers and, you know, all the hypnotherapists and channelers that have been talking about this one event, you know, it's, it's, it's actually been prophesized for years and, you know, it's, it's, it's been talked about for a very long time, you know, before our modern era. So when you have channels, like when you have channel, <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. When you have channelers like Ben Saduno, who predicts this cosmic electricity running through the planet, he calls it uh, a cleansing by a divine fire. You have ancient biblical texts like the Zoroastrian traditions of the Frasho Karedi describing a molten metal, restoring the earth to its natural form. You know, and even even things like the Great Year in the um, the, the Hindu philosophies, the ancient Hindu philosophies where we go through the cycles or, or universal seasons within the universe. Right now, we are in the Kali Yuga, which is a cycle that we're going through, but it's now coming to a close as we head to an, an, another universal season, which is uh, the Age of Aquarius or the Golden Age in our Western uh, uh, nomenclature. We go by that. Uh, and once this happens, once we fully transition to this new age, you know, we don't have to worry about pity things such as, oh gosh, like money or, you know, working a dead end job or anything like that. You know, it's, you know, w w we will have all our physical needs be met. And at the same time, we're going to do what we're supposed to do. We're going to do what we're meant to do in terms of our purpose, maintaining our bodies to their perfect, pristine conditions and, essentially we will all be in this golden age of Gaia where Mother Earth is completely restored back its original state within our fourth density and 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 not just not just the planet it's just all of it all of the inhabitants with it too they're all we are we are all going to fully embody that fifth dimensional consciousness of peace and prosperity and creativity so i just, I just gosh, can't wait until this happens um just you know just look at the series of events uh, like technologically wise i mean like in the last hundred years i mean there's a reason why everything is changing at a severely like exponential rate you know if you want to talk about the industrial age um just a century ago and even now in the information age of the internet where everything is like unveiled and everyone can access it and you know everyone <laughs> has the opportunity to create themselves in whatever fashion that is within their purpose and you know what they want to do you know to to ascend in their own way um that, that you, you know we are here we are meant to create and you know as, as we are getting closer to this event i'm this is this is why I'm so obsessed with learning about this event because the more we connect with people, the more that we individually awaken, the closer we are to it. And you know, I, I think it's now now the time that you know it's it's the time is perfect to share with you guys like the beauty of what lies beyond this you know, this dense reality that we've, we've been living under and, you know, these systems that we've been slaving to and, you know, and, you know, as, as soon as we transition out of this, you know, the sooner that we can live and enjoy ourselves into newer and better things and, and we can talk about the new earth, for example, you know, the technology to use interstellar travel and even interdimensional travel, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, and things like teleportation, telepathy, and telekinesis, and, uh, if you guys, um, saw the intro to the show, the first shot I wanted to show was actually the solar flash, and, and that's how, you see the big bang, you know, that's how, how important it is to me to show that right off the bat and show how serious I am about, about this, and, and and not just that, I feel like I've waited my whole life for this. It, it's so important to my work now, and especially the work I'll be doing after we experience this event. So I feel like, 
you know, as I feel like I was meant to be here and during this time, um, whether it be like right before the event or during the event or after the event, you know, it's, I feel like I'm here for this reason. And <laughs> gosh, I, I'm, I'm going back to my twin flame and she said to me a long time ago, and this kind of correlates to what I'm talking about right now, but she told me, uh, everything happens for a reason. And I believe I'm here for this specific reason to not only guide others in their purpose, but y you know, the time that we all, it's, it's a time that we've been waiting for in the spiritual community for a very long time. And I feel like it's time guys, you know, it's, it's really time. It's, it's time to do our mission and do what we're here to do. Do, do what, do what we're meant to do. So, um, so I say awakening event because I know there will be two types of events out there and they're going to occur, you know, one right after the other, you know, subsequently, um, and, and this is very, this is, this is very important for me to uh, emphasize and talk to you guys about because this demarcation that this occurrence of these two events, you know, a lot of channelers and hypnotherapists always seem to overlap information when it comes to these two events. So when I hear a lot of information about a QHHD client going through a session and they're talking about an event, you don't know what type of event it is. That's why there's so much information out there that you need to piece through and like figure out. So I would always recommend to anyone who out uh, there listening that if you're a channeler or if you're a hypnotherapist trying to receive or channel new information from an event, yeah, you, you have to be very specific. So, um, so, and what I mean by that is uh, delineating these two types of events. And, and uh, the first event that's going to occur is obviously the solar flash, um, what David Wilcock calls the solar flash or the solar sneeze. And the other event is actually <laughs> the uh, ascension event, which Jernvala Melchizedek calls the main event, if you want to call it that. And that one... Um, we won't get into this that event just yet because I have reserved a special episode for that. I actually, I'm actually going to detail some information from a guided meditation I did with a client a couple months ago, where he actually experienced like the actual like three days of darkness, and he went through like the actual dimensional shift of Gaia as a whole when he was going through this um, guided meditation, if you want to call it that, but. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I have to make a correction on that because the client that, that I had, it wasn't, it wasn't actually the guided meditation. It was actually a dream analysis that I did where he experienced this ascension event. I, I, I apologize for that, guys. I mean, I, I got that session mixed up because, you know, I, I had the same client who I did two different sessions with and one was a guided meditation and one was a dream analysis I did for him. So, but um, although there were some interesting insights on his guided meditation, because when when I guided him to meet his future self, <laughs> he actually went through a portal where he transported himself to like another version of Earth, you could say, or another future version of what Earth may look like in the near future. So, and when he was going through the, this portal, he actually saw higher dimensional beings. <laughs> uh, just bear with me, but like when, when he was going through this portal, whether these beings are from the new earth or not, I, I can't really confirm that, but the feeling that, that he got from them was that they were benevolent and the way they looked, they were projected like they were projected in, according to my client's description was pretty similar to light bodies. So <laughs> that's another confirmation right there. Um, you know, uh, they looked luminescent and, and the other thing that he told me that um, these beings had no facial features and they had a specific en energy signature that was just just effervescent and positive and hopeful so i i hope to have them on the show to describe it a little further but i'm still trying to figure out the best way to put that episode out so but anyways wow but um 
yeah, anyways, <laughs> I, I do trust him wholeheartedly though. So I, I do trust his word and what he experienced. So I, I do want to put the information out one of these days. Wow. Um, the information I received from him was, um, it was, a, it was pretty, it was pretty intense. Like the description of what he went through and, you know, for now, I'm just going to keep that tight lipped and trying to find out the best possible way to put that episode out in terms of if he's going to come onto the show or I'm just going to detail you the information that he was given to me. So just, um, but it's going to be good. So stay tuned for that guys. Um, also guys, I, I would like to invite anyone out there, um, listening, you know, come out on the show. If you're interested in sharing any stories that you might have when it comes to anything esoteric, metaphysical, spiritual, anything about the event, any, you know, anything about the new earth, anything, just anything within that nature. You know, this, I feel like I'm doing this show for you guys. So you guys can share with each other, um, and talk about anything and everything. So, you know, with that said, just, you know, please feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in sharing your story. You know, I'm just, I'm just a middle man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blessed to be able to do these videos for you guys to have the experience I have in show business and to, as an editor, to make these videos for you guys. So I always want to try to keep things fresh, keep things new, and, you know, at the same time, keep things fun. So, um, I also recently had some salvia <laughs> a few months ago to j just, just, you know, just to see if I can confirm this event, um, that everyone's been talking about. And if you guys know what, you don't know what salvia is, I, I suggest you look that up. It's a, it's a psychedelic, uh, it's a plant, it's a plant substance pretty much. And you go through this like psychedelic experience when you go through it. But, and, and, um, when I did this, you know, I, I did the, I was very respectful. You know, I prayed to, Pray to my guides, pray to my angels to see if any visions I, I would be receiving. And guess what? I did. You know, um, I saw actual visions of what will happen, you know, with this ascension event. So um, just please keep an eye on that if you guys are interested in the next couple episodes. Um, randomly, I, I want to make a shout out. Um, well, I want to make another shout out to Allison Co. and Alba Weinman for their information as well, because they're both amazing at what they do. And since Allison mentioned in her latest video that there will be two events, that that's actually something that makes a lot of sense to me now because for, for a long time, like, you know, the outcomes of these two events, how they will unfold is it, the information like from different like people have been over, overlapping with each other. But it, it does make a lot more sense to me now that, you know, the first event what we will, the outcome of that will get like certain disclosures and technologies and um, it, everything will be unveiled. You know, actually, it's been happening now if you think about it with all the exposure that's been going through. But um, that event will actually prepare us for the dimensional shift, the actual main event. So, but let, let's let's not go through that. Let's not go into detail of that. Um for the purpose of this episode, the more important discussion here is the awakening that will happen first. So, and, um, I just can't wait for this thing to finally happen because it's literally going to change our lives in a very, very short amount of time. Uh, you know, the way we live and how we interact with each other and just, just how we all are going to transition to this new earth. And, and yeah, you know, I, I know, Talk, you know, many people that talking about the new earth might be overwhelming for some, the splitting of two earths and, and stuff like that. But, you know, whatever we go through, guys, just keep in mind that, you know, we're, we are souls living inside an earthly avatar. And our souls, it can't die. It can't, you, you know, and even the scientific community validated this from, if you look at the first law of physics, uh, thermodynamics, I believe, where nothing physical ever gets destroyed. It just gets recycled and recycled and transformed to something else. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be uh, transferred from one thing to another over and over again. So 
So whatever your fears, whatever pains, whatever traumas, I mean, whatever your life conditions are now, just remember you, you are invincible beneath it all. And, you know, living on earth, it's just, you know, we're only going to be here temporary anyway. So it's just, you know, just, just remember that and remember who you guys are beneath and, 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 you know, just keep awakening to find your purpose here from the time that we have here. So also guys, just please use your, your own discernment. Um, you can take this with a grain of salt or just for entertainment purposes only. But, you know, I, again, I just want to speak about this because I feel it. Like I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. And I want to do my contribution to to our community, to society as a whole, to share this information as much as I can. And especially those who are waking now, um, I see people, random random people every day who are awakening. And... You know, I want to do my part to help these people and to help other people as well after. I I, I don't want to just share information that's been regurgitated and, you know, um, that information that the, most of the spiritual community already knows. So uh, every time I uh, create a new episode for this show, I want to ensure you get one type of new information that hasn't been heard of or confirmed yet or or maybe something new entirely. So that's my purpose for the show. I, I want to keep things fresh and fun, you know. Um, so speaking of new information, I want to share something with you guys from a level three QHHT hypnotherapist about the event and the timing of it. Um, Marilyn, uh, I just received permission from her, who is the hypnotherapist in this regard. And what Marilyn told me to you know, not to alter the information. So what I'm going to do is read it word for word. And, you know, if you guys want to read the full article, I'll put a link on the description box and you guys can check it out. And she has tons of great information about her clients. And I'm just so, so happy to be able to connect with her in this regard because I feel like this, this article, it's mind boggling because it details so much like precision in the information that she, she has about the event and the timing of it. So so he goes, and I, I quote, It will be like a beam of light and or frequency from the center of the universe that will encompass the earth and penetrate everything right down to the very core of the earth. This light will encompass the earth for a few days. Its brightness will be so overwhelming, people will be blinded by it. The client told me later what he was shown was like a very bright fog and people won't be able to see their hand in front of their face. I asked if this bright fog would even be present indoors and he said yes, it's inescapable. Everyone will experience this and many people will be afraid and panic. What they need to do is to calm down and sit in meditation. As the fear subsides and they regain their rationality, they will sense a door open. They will sense the door appear. He said later, he was shown something that looked like a black line that arched, like a rounded top doorway. This was the door. This door would appear close to the person and there would be many doorways appear near what sounded like, like all people. What people need to do, he said, literally feel their way through the door when they see it. Feel the edges of the door and then pull it open. Once open, it will be bright on the other side of the door, but not as bright as where they are. They need to go through that door to another dimension. <laughs> this is what we will experience. Just go through the doorway to a place where things that we struggle with today will not even matter. Okay, end quote. Wow. That's incredibly compelling right there. Just to re read that off and... And okay, um, let's discuss now the timing. Um, Marilyn then asked, when will this event happen? And they, and she asked for a time frame. And, and then the client goes on to say, and I quote, yes, it will occur the end of February, beginning of March, end quote. Okay, so right there, right there, guys, just another validation of the time frame of when this will happen. And if you guys have been following uh, Allison Coe's YouTube channel, the same exact information correlates. 
different clients, different hypnotherapists, the same information. So uh, I just want to send another shout out to Marilyn providing this information and, and correlating this information through. Okay, so let's sidetrack a little bit. And, and so, okay, so the reason why I call this episode The Dreams of the Event is because I want to share something with you guys that I personally experience. And specifically from what I experienced from the solar eclipse that we had last year. Um, so this is from my own personal information. And when I did this group meditation, I actually, uh, I saw visions. I, I, I saw what's going to happen. It's clear as day. You know, and, and, you know, when I did this meditation, I, I didn't force anything. It, it just, it just came to me. But you know, at the same time, when I saw that event happening, I, I also saw like a, my, my future self or maybe my higher self into another earth. You know, maybe this could be the new earth that everyone's been talking about when they transition. I don't know what's going to happen, but when I was in this new earth, it was, everything was, oh, everything was like colorful and, and lush and, and, and just the environment around me was just overwhelmingly like, positive um it was just i felt peace i felt calm and i felt like i was i was really at home so uh, these two images like these two visions like switch back and forth and for whatever reason i i saw these two like simultaneously maybe because some type of dimensional split was occurring you know during the eclipse i don't know what what was going on but but it's it's still happening now you know that 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 timeline split is like preparing us for what's to come so but after that like i i kept getting it like randomly through dreams and you know random things during the day that you like okay so so basically when this event happens i i saw a wave a wave that's like spherical like engulfing everything in our stratosphere it's like a spherical rippling sonic boom and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger you know and, and one side of the wave every, everything is all grimy and dense and what we see to what we see in our sky right now but on the other side of the wave where it's being engulfed like everything was like effervescent and and polished and clear and a lot more clean so it's it's just it was a it was a pretty it was pretty amazing to see, like when I see, see these visions like side by side by each other and, you know, and I think it's, it's going to happen in this way because everyone's been talking about this veil and everything, you know, it's right now we experience like the lifting of the veil, so to speak. And, you know, when that God source energy is going to pour down to this planet, it's going to cleanse everything. It's going to make everything transparent. You know, and, and, and everyone's going to know the truth. Everyone's going to, you know, feel something in their hearts and in their minds and their souls that when once this connection happens, we, we can all prosper, commute and create together finally. And I'll be honest with you guys, I felt, I felt this energy before, you know, just a small taste when I had my own Kundalini awakening back in 2014. And and that feeling I got, it, it was such an incredible feeling where I felt this like limitless, like raw Kundalini energy, you know, and, and that could be the same thing for when this event happens as well, but on a grander scale where, you know, everyone's feeling this at the same time. So, <laughs> you know, it, just imagine that like every chakra will be firing like with everybody and just, it's just. I can't wait until once this happens to everybody. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, um, but when this happened to me, you know, I, I felt more compassionate and more connected with earth and I gained more clarity. And I think that's, it's going to happen, happen to everyone who's going to experience this event. They're, they're going to know what they're here to do and contribute to the world they're living in, you know, how to make things better how to get rid of things that doesn't make sense or just, just the anything that is outdated, like the, the economic systems, for example, the educational systems, for another, all of that. I mean, there's a reason why we have 7 billion people around the world and not just ourselves. You get me? So 
I mean, that would be really selfish to live on your own planet and not learn any new lessons and, or gain new wisdoms or new experience from anything that you already know. So we're all in this together, guys. And just just like the law of one, just like the golden rule, like do unto others. You know, it's pretty pretty simple. I mean, it applies to every facet within this reality. And just if you're nice to people, they're going to be nice back. If you're going to be if you're gonna be a jerk, you're, you, you're gonna someone's gonna be a jerk right back at you. So, um, and th that's what I learned from from living here. Is just, you know, what I learned from most people is that you know everyone is, wants to be heard, everyone wants to be seen, everyone wants to be loved, and you know, everyone wants to do what they want to do. You know, without being judged or having sort of like reprisals and. You know, we, we, I mean, we all want to create guys and uh, I think this event will propel everybody into this new paradigm. So I always say to people, man, you know, everything that you're going through is preparing you for what you asked for. So everyone will experience this event. There's no one who's exempt from this. I mean, if you look at the ancient biblical text, briefly like i'm going to talk about this but you know it's it's been said like in the bible you know the zoroastrian teachings i mentioned before about this energy being molten metal where this plasma literally drops down from heaven and quote unquote and you know you have guys like plato describing the solar flash um that derived from the just prehoods from the platonic writings you know the quran talked about this which i confirmed from a friend talking um you know, a couple months ago about describing a similar event. So, you know, even even today, like a couple of decades ago, where you have David Wilcock talking about channelings from the Brown Notebook or the Law of One, you know, back in the 70s and 80s. I mean, once this happens, is it literally going to be like a like a quantum spontaneous occurrence? And David, he, he defines this as a, quote, uh, literal shift in matter, energy, and consciousness. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fairly excited every time I read that. But, uh, but yeah, either way, I mean, when you wake up, you will know something different has happened. Like every, everybody is going to be connected with each other. Everyone will have an idea of what their purpose may be. And, you know, everyone will be privy to disclose and release technologies. Finally, you know, because once you're connected back to everyone else, it, it is our obligation to help everybody else. Just just think about it for, for that second. You know, if you're connected to everybody else, th there's no more selfishness going on there because if you hurt others, you're essentially hurting yourself. And and when this happens, it's we're going to create this new ecosystem where everyone, everyone will have their physical needs met. You know what I mean? So... Of course, we will go through this transitional period where, you know, we'll still use money for a little bit, but eventually money will no longer exist because, you know, it's an outdated system. And since we're all one, we're all connected, we all have that spark that connects us to the God source. Like, wouldn't it make sense for everyone to have all their physical needs met? <laughs> you know, like, like imagine just a world without suffering, without fear, where there, there's no more system to now like a nine to five, like working nine to five, like every week. And you, you work five days a week, but you get two days off that, that never made sense to me. You know what I mean? So we're going to get rid of that. Everyone's going to live equally and fairly and that everybody ha will have a creative contribution to society. So if you're an artist, if you're a musician, if you are, if you just want to create, you'll, you will have the, the ability to do that. You know, just, gosh, God, just, just imagine that for a second. I mean, being able to finally live your life the way you want to. And, you know, we, we will experience this as long as we can. Um, there are sources that I found out that, you know, we're only going to be living in this era for like a thousand years or two thousand years. I don't know. But I hope we can experience this as long as we can, or when God's source deems to do another experience, uh, ex experiment duality, which <laughs> I'll be honest, if that, if that happens, uh, I won't ever, <laughs> ever be a part of that. So I won't volunteer myself to, to live in that 
another earth where everything is in duality again. No, no, <laughs> sorry. But um, yeah, so guys, just, you know, live in the moment, live in the now, be nice to yourself, be nice to others. I mean, we're all mirrors of ourselves anyways. And, you know, in the universe, like if you look at the broader spectrum of that, it's, everything is interconnected and it, and there's a symbiotic uh, relationship to each other. So we're all in this together no matter what. So that's basically it, guys, for this episode. Um, just to recap, there's there'll be two types of events. One is the awakening event, will, which will happen very soon, and it'll be a solar event. You know, it's it's gonna cause like a spherical sonic boom, a ripple. It's gonna cleanse everything. You know, it's <laughs> it's it's gonna be monumental. You know, it's and um, I want to reference real quick to Alvin Wyman when she had her clients and when their higher selves talk about this, this is literally such a rare, a rarity that people have literally waited their entire lives for. Like even on a soul level where souls have been waiting for this for like generations and generations. And to this day, you know, everybody like, uh, extraterrestrials, interterrestrials, um, all types of souls from past, future, um, you name it. I mean, they're all here to experience this one event. So just continue on your journey, uh, continue on your journey of awakening, you know, just prepare, prepare as much as you can, follow your guidance, follow your purpose. And, and if you're listening to this, you have a purpose more greater than you can ever realize. So just keep that in mind. <sighs> okay. Okay. Thank you guys for listening through. I know it's like, a lot to take in but you know i definitely do want to do another episode where 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 you can actually prepare for the event you know because it can come in any day now honestly and i'm gonna i'm gonna call the episode preparations for the event so and then obviously i'll make i'll do another episode where i'll detail the other event the ascension event you know from from a client i had i'll, I'll do another episode for that but um Anyways, thank you guys so much. If if you want to reach out to me, you can always email me or or go through my website at carlojohn.com. You can comment. You can comment here too on YouTube, and you know, please like, <laughs> please like, subscribe, comment. You know, I, I appreciate that very much for you guys. And it, and if you guys like the content here, and if you want to make any suggestions, just feel free to connect with me. I'm I'm very hands on with everybody. So and and again if you if you're interested in being on the show um, please get in touch with me so we can reach out and you know share your story and share it with as much people as we can so we can prepare for this so any day now the the event's gonna happen and i i just want to do my part and and help everybody out and I'm, I'm so blessed to do this show i'm finally doing this show for a long time and and thank you guys again and uh yeah i'll, I'll catch you guys on the other side peace